Hello, this is Yuka from the Jobot.org. Um, this is part 6 of my series of tutorials uh, showing you my Java development environment. And I'm going to show you now how we install uh, Java onto our VirtualBox guest, which we created previously. And obviously, as a Java developer, we'd like uh, Java on both systems, but the real advantage is that thanks to VirtualBox we can actually develop with two different Java versions. Uh, as an example we could create proprietary JDK based um, applications on our host operating system and we can create um, or we can install OpenJDK on a system like Ubuntu and use that to develop with um, for our open uh, application needs. That is if you're developing uh, applications which require OpenJDK. So, using the Ubuntu installation we did as an example, to get uh, OpenJDK onto Ubuntu would be pretty straightforward. Um, you just type in the Java command and you'll get an error here and it will tell you various options that you can use to install the JDK with. Um, I'm not going to be using the OpenJDK on this guest which I created, but I'm going to show you now um, a script which I wrote, wrote which will install the Oracle JDK, which is not an option in this menu over here, onto your Ubuntu system. And I'm going to go to my website and uh, I'm going to show you a script which I wrote there. I'm just going to run through the script with you. Uh, if you go to the jarbar.org, and you go to my Linux uh, section under the tutorials and you go to Linux install Java and this purple section over here is basically a script which I wrote and to give you a rough overview of what the script does it downloads the Oracle JDK it unpacks it and it moves it to the user library JVM location in your Ubuntu installation then it copies all the contents from the bin directory within that JDK installation uh, to or well it doesn't copy them, it, sorry, it symbolically links them to your user bin directory which allows you to run uh, all the Java commands from the command line. To get the script simply just click on the purple section and just download it in which case it will be saved onto your system. Now once it's saved on your system just open a terminal and it's a bash script so we're going to run it with a bash and then uh, if you go to your tilde forward slash downloads directory it should be in that directory install oracle jdk is the script's name and just run the script and it will ask you for your password because it needs to copy uh, contents uh, into your user bin location and also because there's a sub sudo command or two in the script. The script is fully viewable if you go to my website if you want to see what it does um, and basically yeah, I'm just going to go through the installation uh, as per the script here. I'm going to give my password here and uh, while it downloads I'm just going to pause the tutorial just for the sake of saving time. Okay so the script is almost done now and I'm just going to explain something to you as well. The script it additionally uh, writes the Java home environment variable to your etc environment location. This is the file that contains your environment variables. Um, it also restarts your system as you see here it's done in front of me and the reason why it does this is so that you can uh, open your Ubuntu guest or your Ubuntu installation and you will have Java fully configured when the system restarts and I'll demonstrate that to you once I've logged in to the Ubuntu system and I'll just list the user bin contents for you so that you can see all the Java commands have been copied uh, into that location or in fact I'll just show you that they're symbolically linked I'll go to my uh, just go into one of my directories here and I'll navigate um, to the disk and I'll go to user bin and I'll just find the Java uh, link if I 
I'll just uh, type in Java quickly and uh, just find where it is. So see I've got Java here. If I just right click on that, go to properties here, you'll see that it's symbolically linked to the executable um, which is located uh, in user library JVM JDK 1.7 so forth. So given that uh, Java is correctly installed or we first need to ensure that Java is correctly installed um, I'm not playing any tricks on you so you type in the Java version command you'll see that Java is installed it also tells you um, or sorry if you run the Java compile the command Java C with the version you'll see that the version matches and additionally I've configured a um, environment variable Java home which was written to your etc environment file so I'm going to echo that to the command prompt or the terminal sorry um, I'm mixing up Windows terminology here with Linux so I'm going to echo the Java home environment variable and you'll see here that that's where our JDK installation is this shows you that Java is installed now. You can use my script from my website to install the Oracle JDK. Um, should you wish to remove the Oracle JDK, then simply uh, de delete the contents of uh, the use the library JVM JDK and just run the Java command as I showed you earlier, and you'll be given default options uh, for Ubuntu. Uh, to install open JDKs as alternatives. This is part uh, six of my tutorial showing you my development environment. Thank you for watching.